Nickelodeon's Drake and Josh, launched in 2003, was a beloved show that set records for the network and became an integral part of many viewers' childhoods. With 56 episodes in total, the show consistently ranked among the top-watched cable programs each week, attracting an average of about 3 million viewers. It was hailed as the most successful show in Nickelodeon history up until that point. Despite the promise of a bright future in Hollywood, Drake Bell's career seemed to stall after his stint on Nickelodeon. Instead of pursuing a career as a movie star, the charismatic actor turned his attention to voiceovers for animated shows and his singing career. Unfortunately, Bell has been making headlines in recent years for his personal life rather than his professional achievements, a far cry from the potential fans once saw in him. Join me in taking a look at the tumultuous life of Drake Bell. Jarek Drake Bell was born in Newport Beach, California in 1986. He started his career at the age of five, making his first televised appearance on Home Improvement and also starred in several commercials. Bell gained widespread recognition for his leading roles in Nickelodeon's The Amanda Show and Drake and Josh. Despite his promising start, Bell's career took a hit when he was sued by his own record producer for an EP they had collaborated on. The producer, John Fields, filed a lawsuit for five figures after the songs they made together failed to make it onto Bell's EP. Bell, once one of the most recognizable faces on Nickelodeon, has since been overshadowed by his scandals, casting doubt on his future career prospects. Despite his success as a child actor, the money Drake Bell earned from starring in two hit shows did not last. In 2014, TMZ reported that the Nickelodeon star had filed for bankruptcy, claiming he owed $581,000. He had purchased a $2 million house in California in 2007, which went into foreclosure after he filed for bankruptcy. His monthly income was reported to be $2,820, while his expenses totaled $18,771. He also owed money in taxes. Drake Bell's legal troubles continued with his second DUI conviction, for which he was sentenced to 96 hours in jail. He served only one day of the four-day sentence before being released ahead of Labor Day weekend. In December 2015, he was charged with a misdemeanor DUI and took a plea deal. He was also given a four-year probation sentence. Melissa Lingefelt accused Drake Bell of verbal and physical abuse in a TikTok video posted in August 2020. Lingefelt claimed that she dated Bell for three years, starting when she was 16 years old and he was 20. She alleged that the verbal abuse began a year into their relationship and eventually escalated to physical abuse. I was singing. It wasn't until about a year when the verbal abuse started. And when I say verbal abuse, imagine the worst type of verbal abuse you could ever imagine. And that was what I got. Um, at the pinnacle of it, he drug me down the stairs of our house in Los Feliz. My face hit every step on the way down. Um, I have photos of this. She claimed that Bell dragged her down the stairs of their house and that she has photos of her injuries and witnesses to support her claims. In response to Lingefeld's accusations, Bell denied all allegations of abuse. The actor claimed that their relationship ended more than a decade ago and that they both called each other terrible names during their breakup, but that was the extent of their mistreatment. Bell also said that Lingafelt reached out to him for financial support in 2019, and he helped her during a difficult time. However, actress Peyton Lane, who previously dated Drake Bell from 2011 to 2016, reached out to Melissa Lingafelt to offer her support and revealed that she also experienced during her relationship with Bell. 
Following this, Lingefelt shared another TikTok video in which she displayed a photo of what she claims is evidence from Bell. She stated that the photo was taken in 2008 when she was 18 and that the physical abuse was happening almost every other week at the end of their relationship. She also shared a police report that she filed in December 2009 and journal entries about the abuse. Drake adopted a new identity as a Spanish language singer by changing his name to Drake Campana, which means bell in Spanish. He released his first Spanish language song, Fuego Lento, in 2018 and subsequently released a fully Spanish language album in 2020. In June 2021, Drake Bell was arrested in Cleveland and charged with attempted endangering children and disseminating matter harmful to juveniles. It was alleged that he had inappropriate online conversations with an underage victim that were at times sexual. Bell pleaded not guilty and posted a $2,500 bond. In June, Bell pleaded guilty to attempted child endangerment and disseminating matter harmful to minors. The actor received two years of probation and a 200 hours of community service. Bell expressed remorse for his actions in court, stating that he took the matter seriously and apologized to the victim and anyone else affected by his actions. Drake Bell was reported as missing and endangered by police on April 13, 2023, but was later found safe. He later confirmed his safety on Twitter, laughing off the ordeal and explaining that he had left his phone in the car and didn't answer for the night. While his alleged history of and recent legal troubles have tarnished his legacy, he continues to make music and sell NFTs to his remaining following on Twitter. Despite his efforts to rebrand as a Spanish language singer and move on from his past, Bell's career seems to be irreversibly impacted by the allegations against him. While it's unclear what the future holds for him, it's clear that his legacy will be forever marred by his behavior and legal troubles. As he continues to produce music and engage with fans on social media, it remains to be seen whether he will ever be able to fully escape the shadow of his past.